building a better community for pets and people. Welcome to the Humane Society of Harrisburg area. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about our organization. It takes a great deal of passion and commitment from the community to make possible the Humane Society's vital programs and services for both pets and people. The Humane Society is a local nonprofit organization that has been serving the community since 1911. Our service area consists of Dauphin, Cumberland, Perry, and Northern York counties, and we serve over half a million people. We take in thousands of homeless animals each year, regardless of their breed, age, medical condition, or behavioral condition. Without the Humane Society, thousands of homeless animals in our community would have nowhere to turn. Thanks to our adoption and foster care programs, we are able to place these animals in loving new homes throughout the community. I think the shelters are a really important part of the community because they do such wonderful things there. I mean, like when I got him, I could tell that all of the animals in there were really well taken care of. With looking for a dog, everyone said that pit bulls are always bad. You see them on the news, they're always hurting somebody, hurting kids, they're always fighting, they're getting themselves into trouble, and you can't discriminate against them. And we've had her for six months now, and she's just great. She's just a really happy dog, so kind of to have that huge personality in your house is, I think that's enriched my life, and when my husband's home, his life as well. We're really happy with her. I work, and right now my husband's actually deployed, and I stop off at lunch and, and feed her and, and take her outside and everything. And then in the evenings we go to the stable together, and, and she comes and rides along with the horse, so that's pretty much her day. The, the process of adopting her was enlightening to me because, um, you know, there was an application to fill out and I had to, you know, basically give uh, references and who my veterinarian was and all of that information and, and I stopped to think, they don't know me, but they need to know that, that um, you know, this animal is going to go to a home where they're cared for, they're loved. The day I was there, they were very busy, but they had time to answer all my questions. They were very professional, and they helped me with everything I needed. Compared to other shelters, they actually have very few returns of animals because they do the work up front to match the right animal with the right family. They give you heads up if they do know the dog's not suitable for you, but they treat every dog the same. You know, they, they care for them, they treat them good, and they, be, they watch over them. Well, we've had these kittens um, for about nine weeks. We got them on their second day. So we, for nine weeks, we've done a lot of care, um, had a lot of fun with them, grown very attached to them. And as you can see, they're, they're a handful. Well, first of all, I would recommend fostering to anybody, and I, I have. I have talked to several friends about it, that it could be perfect for them. It's just a great way to give back to these animals that don't haven't found their forever home yet, but they're going to, but it's just kind of a temporary stopover. It took us a couple years to not cry every time we brought back the animals. The other thing is we haven't given them back yet, so <laughs> it's still a little emotional. It's going to be hard. I mean, it's absolutely going to be hard, but... But I know that they'll have good homes. Many of the animals brought to us are victims of animal cruelty. Our cruelty department investigates over 3,000 reports of animal cruelty each year. Without the Humane Society, these crimes would go uninvestigated, and many, many more animals would die needlessly by the hands of their abusers. We also assist other victims of violence through our Safe Haven program, which provides temporary shelter for animals of domestic violence victims. And how it works is, one of our clients will call in on the hotline and seek our services, and particularly if they need uh, to flee the home and come into our emergency shelter, and if they reveal to us that they have a dog or a cat, we can share with them that we actually partner with your shelter to be able to house that animal uh, in their uh, foster care system 
during the duration that one of our victims is in our shelter, uh, free of charge. And of course, they'll work with your shelter and your uh, full-time veterinarian to make sure that that animal is uh, healthy and okay. In addition to these important programs, we offer numerous low-cost veterinary services to the community. These include spaying and neutering, microchipping, and vaccinations. Each of these programs and services is designed to provide access to affordable veterinarian services for all pet owners. Our spay-neuter program also helps reduce the pet overpopulation issue in our community. Spaying and neutering is really the only way to solve this overpopulation problem. Ultimately then the population declines. Once you reach a 70% spay-neuter rate, the population will actually begin to decline and stop growing. And if you continue aggressive spay-neuter maintenance, um, you will actually begin to see the populations disappear. Vision is to see what is not there. Our vision for a responsible pet community starts with our children. Thanks to our education program, we are able to touch the lives of over 3,000 children each year and teach them about responsible pet ownership. Educating children now will help to create a better community for pets and people in the future. The pets at the shelter need home. Lots of pets at the Humane Society need a home and they need to be taken care of. At the Humane Society, we are building a better community for pets and people. Exciting plans are underway to expand our current facility located on Grayson Road to meet the growing demands of our community. Our current facility is overcrowded. Office spaces and conference rooms are housing animals. Our low-cost clinics and other services are overbooked. And we have an ever-growing list of animals waiting to get into our facility. A new animal intake center and triage unit would enable us to assist pet owners with alternatives to surrendering their animals, to more quickly assess animals that are brought to us, and provide appropriate housing for our current residents. A new veterinary center and education center will enable us to expand the number of low-cost programs and services that we are able to offer to the community. As a private nonprofit, we are not funded by any national animal welfare organization, such as the Humane Society of the United States or the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals nor do we receive guaranteed government funds. One of the huge expenses that you had during the course of the year was going out and actually retrieving the different animals that were in need. So we were able to donate a Mercedes-Benz that would be able to help you uh, both from a collection uh, perspective and then also reduce your costs of ownership of the vehicle servicing the vehicle, maintaining the vehicle. So it was great to kind of intertwine what we do with automobiles and be of need, uh, again, back, give back to the community with a vehicle for your services. These vital programs and services for pets and people would not be possible without the community's support. All of these animals, whether cats or dogs, have a huge potential uh, for being out in the public. You know, our shelters are the core of the, of the community when it comes to managing the, the animals in need and people in need. And it's our shelters that people come to for help. The Your Shelter and the Humane Society is not just about helping dogs and cats and other animals, but it's also about helping people in the community that have real needs. What would happen to these animals if the shelter wasn't there at this time? They do just such a wonderful thing to rescue animals. The, the lives of pets touch us all. I don't know what the community would do without them. Building a better community for pets and people.